trick that every magician does. Sometimes they use 10 steel rings, sometimes 20. I use five. We'll check. We have one, two, three, four, and five steel rings. The object is to join one ring with the other. Strike one upon the other, make two. Egad. Mm. No sense in my watching this. I've already seen it. We'll hit them again and make three. Purity, body, flavor, out of date line. Here it is. In slow motion, one ring comes in contact with the other, spins around quickly on the inside. The two become linked together. To separate them, the magician merely untwists the rings. They come apart. Now, sometimes the magicians cheat. By that, I mean they hold a finger between the rings and thus create the illusion that the two rings are linked together. Others hold a thumb between the two. I prefer the thumb method myself. It's a matter of small consequence. <laughs> Only if you feel it's right. <laughs> to separate the rings, there must be a way. I remember, you reach through the top ring, grasp the bottom ring, and just pull them apart. I'm going to use four rings next. <laughs> I'm not trying to make a spectacle of myself, but I do want to cause the top ring to drop to the bottom. I'll tell you how it's done. Gravity does most of the work, and it falls of its own weight. Even more difficult. <laughs> the, the top ring goes to the bottom, the bottom ring goes to the top at the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Years of practice and self-denial. A series of designs. The rings will start with the garden swing. Ta -da -da -da. Baseball mask. Play ball. I wish the Cubs could. <laughs> Basketball, bowling ball, globe of the earth, the blooming rose. Oh. Ah. <laughs> and around a rose, of course, you'd expect to find a butterfly. Oh. Or a kid on a bicycle. I... Oh, well. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> The old Chinese magicians always made a chain of five rings. Five rings it is. <laughs> and with one simple dexterous move, oh, the Olympics. One simple dexterous move, uh, the magician link all the rings on one. One simple move like this. <laughs> I knew I could do it. <laughs> it would probably be wise of me to conclude the routine while the applause has been spontaneous. But there's an anticlimax that goes with the trick. You might as well get the lot. I point out this one ring, you'll notice, locks the other four rings together. The magician would walk down the street with the rings locked on his arm. Should someone ask for the trick? They rarely did. He merely <laughs> snap these fingers and once again have one, two, three, four, and five steel rings. 